Welcome back to the Tetris tutorial. For the second part, we will create the panels that will later display the game, the upcoming pieces and the score. That way, we get a basic layout for the game. And for all of that, I want to have separate Python files. Which means, I want to create a new Python script that I'm going to save as game.py. Then I will create another new script. This one is going to be score.py. And then one more, which is going to be the preview.py. Game will be for the actual game. This will be the most extensive Python file. Score is going to show us the score, the level, and the amount of lines we have cleared. And preview is going to give us a preview of the three next pieces that we are going to get. Let's get started with game. First of all, I want from settings, import, everything. That way I have all of these layout variables available. Once I have that, I want to create a class called game. This one, as always, will need a dunder init method. For now, this is only going to contain self. In there, I want to have some general setup. Most importantly, I want to create a surface. This we are going to create with pygame.surface. This one, like the display surface, wants to have one argument, which is a tuple with the width and the height. This we also get from settings because in there we have a game width and a game height, meaning I can copy both of those and paste them into the tuple. This surface we now want to display inside of main.py, which means we have to have access to the display surface. This is the main window and these other surfaces we are placing on top of it. For that, first of all, we have to have access to this display surface. And we could approach that in a couple of ways. We could, for example, insert this display surface as an argument into the game when we are creating it. So we would create a display surface parameter. Although we can approach this much easier, all we have to do is create another variable or attribute called display surface. And inside of Pygame, you can get the display surface from anywhere inside of the code with pygame.display.get underscore surface. This will return the display surface, so the main window. All we have to do is create another method and let's call it run as well. And this one needs the one parameter self. If you want to place one surface on top of another surface, so in my case, I want to place the surface on the display surface, you would take the target surface, so in my case, display surface, and then use the blit method. Blit stands for block image transfer which is a fancy way of saying you want to put one surface on another surface. There are two arguments it wants it here. First of all, the surface you want to place and then a position. The surface we want to place is quite easy. Simply self.surface. This should be a lowercase s. And for the position, for now, let's go with 0 and 0. Now back in main.py, I first of all have to do some imports. And let me add a comment. This should be the components. For now, all I have is from game import game. And this should be capitalized. What I want to do is from game.py import this game class. Once I have that, inside of the init method of the main class, I want to create the components. And for now, I want to create self.game is going to be the game class or more specifically, an instance of the game class. And then inside of the run method of main.py, after we are filling the background, I want to call self.game.run, which would be this run method. If I run this, we have a black area on the gray background. This black bit is the actual game area. Although the position right now isn't ideal. While we do have some padding in the bottom, we don't have any padding on the left or on the top. That is because inside of game.py, we set the position to 0 and 0. The first 0 would be x, the second 0 would be y. For the actual numbers, I want to look at settings and the numbers I want, or rather the one number I want is padding. This should be for this one, x and y. If I now run this entire thing again, this is looking much better. We now have 20 pixels on the left, we have 20 pixels on top 
and we have 20 pixels at the bottom. The reason why this works is if you look inside of settings, the entire window height is the game height plus two times padding, which means when we are placing for the Y position padding, then we're getting one of those paddings and we have one left at the bottom. Meaning the actual game window is squarely in the middle of the window, at least in the vertical axis. Cool, with that next up, we can work on the score. For this, once again, I want from settings, import everything. After that, I want to create a class called score and this score, as always, is going to need a dunder init method. The one parameter is going to be self and in there, I want to create self.surface and besides that, I want to create self.display underscore surface. The second part is a bit easier to get. All I want to do is I want to copy this line from game.py. Because once again, for the score, we want to create a surface where we display everything on. And this surface, we then want to put on the display surface. For this surface, we will once again need pygame.surface. This one wants a tuple with the width and the height. The width is quite easy. For this one, I simply want to get the sidebar width. This is a number we are setting inside of settings.py. So this sidebar width is what I'm using right now. And this is just a number I thought looked good. Now for the height, we need a bit of math. Basically what I want to do. If this is the entire window, we already have the game bit, but this we can simply ignore for now. Instead, I am working inside of the sidebar. This would be an area roughly like this. For this area, we already know we have the width. So 200, that one is quite easy. We already have it. However, for the height, we want to set this score to only cover about 30% of the bottom. Or more specifically, I have set this inside of settings in the sidebar. The preview should cover 70% of the height and the score should cover whatever the rest is. I want to get the game height first of all. And this I want to multiply with the score height fraction. And from that, I want to subtract the padding. Once again, the way you want to think about it is if this is the game area and this is the sidebar with the entire window being roughly this size. First of all, we want to have the height of the sidebar to be the same as the height of the game. These lines should align and the maximum height is then going to be the game height. On that, to get only a fraction of it, we are multiplying it with the score height fraction. This right now would be 0.3, which means we would get only a certain part of it, roughly an area like this. And from that, we want to subtract the padding. That way, later on, we are going to get a bit of spacing between the preview and the score. Next up, we have to figure out how to place all of this. This, once again, is going to happen inside of a run method, which is going to need self, but no other parameters. Once again, I want to get self.displaySurface and then use the blit method. The surface I want to place is self.surface. And for now, let's place it at position 0 and 0, just to see what's going to happen. With that, inside of main.py, I want to import from score, import score. Then inside of the dunder init method, I want to create an instance of this class, which means self.score is going to be score. And finally, inside of the game loop, I guess once again there, we can have our common to organize all of this. Let's call it the components as well. All I want is self.score.run. With that, once again, we are running the run method inside of score. So we are doing all of this. Although I just realized while looking at this, I have made a typo all the way up there. This should be from set things, import everything. And now if I run main.py, we can see that we have an area up here. This would be the score or rather the score surface. 
This should rather be all the way at the bottom, roughly here. How can we get it there? For that, we have to learn about another concept, which is a rectangle. A rectangle makes it really easy to place surfaces inside of the score. I already have a surface and I want to wrap this surface inside of a rectangle. For that, I want to create another attribute that I'm going to call self.rect. To create this rectangle, we want to get the surface itself, so self.surface, and then run the method get underscore rect. What this one is going to do, if this is our surface, the one we have created on the first line, it is going to put a rectangle around it. That would look something like this, meaning this would be our rectangle. The important thing about this rectangle is that it has lots of points that you can place individually. For example, there is a center and this is one point you could place. And let me use a different color so you can actually see what's going on. Another point you could place would be this point. This would be the mid bottom, so mid bottom. Or you could place this point, which would be the bottom right. So let's call it bottom right. This is the point I actually want to place. Which means when we are getting the rectangle, I want to place the bottom right. And the bottom right is going to be a tuple. More specifically, a tuple with an X and a Y position. And pretty much what I want to do, if this once again is the entire window, the score should be in the bottom right. Or more specifically, I want to place this one point, the bottom right of the score, the amount of padding from the right side of the window and the amount of padding from the bottom side of the window, which basically means we want to get the right side of the window and then subtract the padding from that. And the same we want to do for the Y axis. We want to get the window height and then subtract in our case 20 pixels. That is really easily done because we have the window width. We are storing that in a variable called window width. And from that, I'm going to subtract the amount of padding. The same I can do for the window height. I simply want to get the window height and subtract padding from that. After that, we have to tell Pygame to use this rect for the positioning of the surface. At the moment, we are placing the surface at position zero and zero. So instead, I want to place self.rect in there as the second argument. This is now going to work, although I realized I have a typo in there there shouldn't be an underscore between bottom and right. It's one word, bottom right. And now, if I run main.py again, the surface is in the right position. What has happened is we have created this surface for the score. On top of that, we have created a rectangle around it. And then we told Pygame to place the bottom right of the rectangle, this point here, 20 pixels from the right side of the window and 20 pixels from the bottom of the window. And then we told Pygame to place this point 20 pixels from the right side of the window and 20 pixels from the bottom of the window with the rest of the rectangle staying identical. And then we place the surface exactly in that position. If you only specified one point, like we have done for the game, you always place the top left. I should have mentioned that earlier. But all right, with that, we have two areas. The one left to do is for the preview, meaning this area is what we are going to create next. All of that is going to happen inside of preview.py. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, this could be an exercise. All you have to do is to create the area for the preview, and this is going to be really similar compared to the score area. If you want to challenge yourself, pause the video now and try to implement this one on your own. Once again, first of all, I want from settings, import everything. That way we have the layout variables. Next up, I want to create a class that should be called preview. No need for inheritance, but we do need a dunder init method. Although this one for now doesn't need any arguments besides self. Inside of it, we need three attributes. First of all, self.display underscore surface. This we get with pygame.display.get underscore surface. That way, we have the target surface. Next up, we need the surface itself. 
this I'm storing in self.surface. We are creating that with pygame.surface, which wants to have a width and a height. The width, once again, is super easy. I simply want to have the sidebar width. For the height, we have to do the same thing we have done for the score. We want to get the game height and then only get a fraction of that. Which means for this one, I want to get the game height and multiply it with, from settings, the preview height fraction. The one difference here is that this one doesn't need padding subtracted. We only have to do this once. We can do it either inside of the score or inside of the preview. Both would work just fine. Finally, I want to create self.rect. This we get with self.surface and get underscore rect. For this point, I want to place the top right. This has to be a tuple, which wants to have an X and a Y position. The Y position is super easy. This is just going to be the padding. For X, I want to do the same thing I have done for the score, meaning I want to get the window width and subtract the padding from that, meaning I can just copy this part and paste it in there. Once we have all of that, I can create a run method and in there, I want to get self.displaySurface.blit, then self.surface, and self.rect. Finally, inside of main.py, I want to, from preview, import preview, then create an instance of that class. So self.preview is going to be the preview. And finally, I can run self.preview.run. With that, I can run the game, and there we have the preview area. This is looking pretty good. Now, what you could do to make all of this a bit more elegant is to use inheritance, because for game.py, or rather the game class, or the score class, and for the preview class, we are using the same attributes. All three of them have a surface, a rectangle, and a display surface. So you could make this a bit more elegant, although in my case, I don't care so much. But if you want to learn more about inheritance, this could be a really good challenge. Anyway, for this part, we have made some good progress. So for the next bit, we are going to flesh out the game quite a bit.